<sighs> don't know what to talk about. <clears throat> well, hey guys, welcome to the Daily Author Talk. I know this is a little different from what I usually do. I usually do, you know, like, let's plays, vlogs, things like that. But I decided to take a bit of a different approach. And podcasting is something I've always kind of wanted to do. So I decided to do a bit of a mini podcast. So from here on, I'm going to make, a go make it a goal, excuse me, to do one 10 minute recording a day. And who knows, I'll just probably record some sort of gameplay footage. Ooh, I need to back up for my mic. I turned up my audio levels because OBS's audio levels by default are very quiet. So yeah, I needed to make sure that you guys could hear me a little clearer without needing to crank up that volume and stuff like that. But anyway, I'll probably put up some sort of gameplay footage from some chill game and play that for like 10-15 minutes so I could just put it over the recording. And I just want to take this opportunity to talk to you guys and not have to worry about playing a game at the same time. Because to be quite honest, Let's Playing is a little difficult for me. My brain doesn't do multitasking very well when I'm trying to commentate and play a game at the same time. I always end up... Uh, just not focusing enough on one or the other. So I will end up messing up in the game, or I'll focus too much on the game, and then I don't actually say anything. And that's usually what happens. I feel like it's okay though, we're all human. I'm sure you guys understand. We all make mistakes, and that's totally fine. But I guess I just wanted to start this as a means to make more videos, without the pressure of sticking to what I usually do. Because with the vlogs, there's a certain amount of pressure tied to it just because of the fact that I'm using my phone, I'm using my camera, and I don't know. It's not that I'm uncomfortable showing my face or anything. I feel like I'm just uncomfortable recording myself visually and then going back and watching the video. I'm a lot more comfortable using my voice. <laughs> my voice has been my main instrument of communication, well, I mean, since the day I was born, as all of us were. But at the same time, you know, I was a singer in high school, I've done musical theater. My voice is what I'm most comfortable working with. So this way, there's a lot less pressure associated with the fact that I don't have to focus on looking at a camera or anything like that. All I'm really looking at are the uh, mic levels in OBS and making sure that I don't dip into the red because I do not want to blow out your guys' eardrums or anything like that. So I need to remember to stay a little further away from the mic and make sure I'm talking clearly and crisply so you guys can hear me well. I just wanted to say I hope you guys are doing well. I guess there isn't really anything this uh, daily author talk is going to be about. I guess that's what we're calling it, the daily author talk. and. Uh, who knows when this will be released. I'm probably going to record a whole bunch of these in a row. Just because that's the way I like to do things. It's nice and simple. And I enjoy it. But uh, yeah, hope you guys are doing alright. To kind of update you guys a little bit on what I've been doing. I've been reworking the script for my game uh, database. Thank you for calling. Or database. I pronounce it both ways, so you can say it however you want. Unless there is a correct way to pronounce data or data, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> I will gladly be corrected by you people. But I've been reworking the script. Uh, a friend of mine, Brennan, or BuddyMike216 on YouTube, or I think, no, I think his YouTube is the same. I think it's his Twitch he had to change. Uh, he watched the video that I put out for uh, Thank You For Calling. It's just literally called Database Gameplay footage or something like that on YouTube. Check it out if you want. I might link it in the description if I remember. Who knows? But regardless, I just, uh, he, or he messaged me and he talked about how he actually got RPG Maker himself because he got interested in giving it a try. Because, I mean, it's very obvious if you look at it that Database is very much an RPG Maker game to its core because I am terrible at visual art well, I can't say terrible. I've been practicing drawing. My problem is sprite work. I cannot do sprites for the life of me, man. And th that part is what gets me. But Brennan told me that he watched it and uh, he wanted to try RPG Maker and that he's excited for database. However, 
what I did not tell him, or what, or I did tell him eventually. <laughs> what I haven't, what I hadn't mentioned to anyone is the fact that I deleted my progress on the game. And I know, I know, that's like, hey, that's Quidditch talk, why are, you, why are you gonna delete your progress, man? You just gotta roll with the punches and make your game. And I know. But I was developing the game wrong. And I know that's kind of a weird claim to say, like, how can you develop a game wrong? Like, what are you doing to develop it incorrectly? Well, let's just say I learned some things since I last worked on that game. And the main issue is my focus and attention to detail. I'm so worried about the final product that it was imp actively impeding my development process. What I was doing was, <laughs> you know, this is giving me the idea to just film myself developing the game over this commentary, but I'm not far along in the development process to do much yet. Anyway, I digress. It was impeding my progress because what I was doing was every time I'd make a map, I would focus on making the map as complete as possible. I would add all the little details, like little tufts of grass, I would add all the buildings that would need to, need to be entered, all the NPCs and their dialogue, I would make sure music was composed for every, each and every map, all while I was developing the game. So instead of taking it one step at a time, like you're supposed to do, especially as a solo dev who <laughs> has trouble with time management and uh, just general lack of understanding of anything in the world or universe and everything inside of it. I was trying to do everything at once, and to all of you who are looking into developing games or anything like that, even if it's RPG Maker, don't let people tell you RPG Maker isn't a valid game engine. It is very much valid. There have been incredible games made from RPG Maker, but I digress. Just focus on one thing at a time. Do not overwhelm yourself and try to make everything perfect exactly right out the gate. That's been my problem for years. I'm a perfectionist when it comes to creating. I uh, I was gonna say I wish I was the same in life, but I feel like I'm so much of a perfectionist that it's the reason I am where I'm at in life. And it's not exactly a super pleasant place, but I'm not complaining either because I know it's temporary and I can make changes to fix that. But again, I digress because that's what Daily Author Talk is going to be about. Hey, we're just going to keep procrastinating and talking and going on tangents. But back to our game dev talk. You don't want to focus too much on the end product. If you do that, then the game that you're going to put out there isn't going to be of the highest quality that you want it. This game is your game. It's your art. Don't focus so much on making it perfect, though, because... And, I mean, I'm, I've been working on RPG Maker since I was 16 years old, which... God, that was almost 10 years ago. I just gave myself an existential crisis. But, I, I've been working with RPG Maker for a long time, and... It's just, you know, it's so easy to want to be a perfectionist. To want to make the game look the way it will look when you release it. But that's just unrealistic. If every AAA developer out there made games to be perfect right out the gate and focused on every single detail in the process, I mean, granted, they do have a lot of people on their dev teams that can do different things. You've got your composers, you've got your artists, you've got your writers, you've got your project leads, things like that. You've got all sorts of people going in to make this one game. But there are a lot of points, or there are a lot of steps between having the idea of the game and then releasing it and, hey, profit. There's a lot of steps that go into it. Like, you ever see those, uh, the gameplay footage of games in beta or something like that where maps look unfinished, polygon texture, or the polygons have no textures, things like that? That's how a game is supposed to look while you're developing it. You don't want to focus so much on adding those textures, adding those tufts of grass. Just make the bare building blocks of the game you want to create. Just focus on one step at a time. If you're making a story-heavy game, focus on making sure you've got that story laid out beginning to end. Do not try to develop while you have the story still in progress. Trust me, I've made that mistake many times and it is a terrible idea. But just 
make sure you get it beginning to end. So that way you have an idea of scope. You know what you're going to make the game look like. You know how long it's going to be, approximately. And uh, just make sure you have that before you start working on anything else. If your game is gameplay focused, make sure you just get the core gameplay done. Don't worry about any extra things. Don't worry about mini games, side quests, map design, anything. Make sure your core mechanic is programmed to be the way you want it to be, and then focus on everything else. Because if you try to do everything all at once, all you're going to do is burn yourself out, and believe me, that is the last thing you want to do. So go easy on yourselves, game devs, and this goes for any artist out there. Take things one step at a time. Don't worry too much about the end product, just make what you want to make. And with that, I think we've rambled on long enough. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys for coming to my daily author talk. And well, I'll see you guys next time. If you want to talk more game dev stuff, just let me know in the comments, and uh, we might have a future segment on it. I'll see you guys next time.